What is the difference between primary, secondary, and tertiary hyperparathyroidism? I'm Dr. Bob Aklarian. So, as you know, the parathyroid system works based on these parathyroid glands looking at the level of calcium in your bloodstream. And if the calcium is low, they produce PTH, which goes to your bones, goes to your kidneys, it activates vitamin D, and increases absorption of calcium. That's how the calcium level comes up. That's a normal parathyroid system, right? Now, if you develop a mutation in a single cell in a parathyroid gland that turns that cell into a tumor that wants a higher number that basically hijacks the system and your calcium level goes up that's primary hyperparathyroidism secondary hyperparathyroidism happens if there is a problem in the system where either the kidney fails or you're not making vitamin d or any of the other components and because these things are not functioning properly the parathyroids produce more and more pth that's secondary hyperparathyroidism secondary to another problem Right? So the parathyroids, all of them become enlarged and abnormal and produce more PTH. These are some of the reasons, vitamin D and magnesium deficiency, calcium deficiency, kidney function. So kidney failure is the most common cause of secondary hyperparathyroidism. Um, but when you correct the problem, the parathyroids go back to normal. So if you're ma magnesium or vitamin D deficient, you can correct that and everything will go back to normal. Tertiary is when you have secondary for such a long time that the parathyroids become independent. They don't care what your calcium level is. They just get it up. And even if you correct the problem, you still have tertiary hyperparathyroidism. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net. Be well.